Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 530. I'm Don Shipman. The Children's Museum at Holyoke is closing temporarily because of COVID concerns. This decision comes as hospitals are seeing a rise in the number of children with COVID. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson live for us in the newsroom tonight. And Kate, you spoke with the executive director of that museum. Did she have a timeline of when things can reopen? She's not saying when they will be able to open up, and that's because they're actually going to be watching as the surge in cases we're seeing in our area. We're hoping that people are able to get their kids vaccinated and boosted as soon as possible so that hopefully this problem will be reduced. The halls of the Children's Museum silent with the doors locked. Jenny Power said that with the influx of COVID cases, they're planning to remain closed. Dr. John O'Reilly is the chief of general pediatrics at Bay State. He said COVID cases among children have skyrocketed recently. This is a, a pandemic uh, right now of unvaccinated people, of which a large number of pediatric patients. Dr. O'Reilly said some children are being hospitalized for COVID and others are being brought in for different reasons, only to test positive because it's so widespread in the area. With vaccines only available to children five and up, an increase in COVID cases leaves children at a greater risk. Dr. O'Reilly said that while it can be a more serious illness for children with asthma or obesity, most of the kids who get COVID COVID can be very well cared for at home. Fever reducing and pain reducing medicines, plenty of fluids, plenty of rest, perhaps some honey for a cough. And most of those kids will get through their five or six or seven days of illness without any serious problems. O'Reilly added that getting your child vaccinated is key in preventing them from becoming seriously ill from COVID. We're going to be live in the newsroom. Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.